In today's video, I want to talk to you about a very hot topic, 3 nanometer chips. You might ask, what is a 3 nanometer chip, and why is it so important? Well, a 3 nanometer chip refers to the size of transistors on the chip, which is only 3 nanometers, or 3 billionths of a meter, finer than a human hair by a thousand times. Such chips can integrate more transistors on the same area, improving chip performance and efficiency while reducing power consumption and costs. The 3 nanometer chip represents the current highest level in the global semiconductor industry and is a core technology for future applications in smartphones, computers, cloud computing, artificial intelligence, and more. The birth of a tiny chip is crucial for two reasons. The first is chip development and design, the preparatory work. In simple terms, to create a performance chip with a 5 nanometer process, for instance, the initial step is to design the chip feasibly. Not every smartphone manufacturer possesses this technological expertise to achieve high performance operation within a 5 nanometer chip. Looking at the global market, we find Huawei's Kirin chip alongside Qualcomm Snapdragon, MediaTek Dimensity, and Apple's exclusive A series chips. The comprehensive performance of Huawei's Kirin chip allows it to compete with their high-end counterparts, contributing to the global success of Huawei smartphones. After the chip is developed, to integrate it into a phone, it needs to be manufactured, which is a challenging task. Many may argue that development is theoretically more difficult, but the actual production of chips requires extreme ultraviolet EUV lithography machines, especially for high-performance processors. Without EUV lithography, creating high-precision chips, especially for advanced processors, is considered impossible. Have you ever considered what would have happened if there were no restrictions on Huawei's Kirin chip manufacturing in 2020? Huawei would have likely introduced a new flagship Kirin chip because the previous Kirin 9000 was already using the 5 nanometer process. By now, Huawei might have achieved a 4 nanometer or even a 3 nanometer process. This is supported by data indicating that Huawei had applied for a new Kirin chip, the Kirin 9010, starting in 2021, but it is still in the application stage. This chip, breaking the 3 nanometer barrier, suggests that Huawei has been researching 3 nanometer fabrication for Kirin chips. Expected to be unveiled around 2022, contingent on resolving chip manufacturing issues. Currently, Huawei might not prioritize the 3 nanometer chip development due to challenges with lithography machines, a process that requires considerable time. In addition to systematically advancing semiconductor industry development, Huawei has revealed its chip plans. Firstly, Huawei aims to achieve data transfer between chips through quantum chips, a patented technology currently in its initial stage. Secondly, Huawei plans to use chip stacking technology, stacking multiple domestically producible chips to trade off area for performance. Even if not deployed in smartphones, these stacked chips can be used in various devices, China takes pride in Huawei's research capabilities and hopes that domestic technology companies can collectively address the issues in the semiconductor field for early achievement of full domestic production. The new Huawei Kirin chip, once produced, is poised to become a leading force in the industry. Now, let's discuss TSMC. TSMC is the world's largest chip foundry meaning they don't design chips themselves, but produce them according to customer requirements. Huawei's Kirin series chips are manufactured by TSMC, and Huawei is TSMC's largest 5G chip customer, contributing to over half of TSMC's 5G chip revenue. Huawei's contribution to TSMC is immense, and TSMC, thanks to Huawei's orders, has become one of the world's most advanced chip manufacturers. However, on September 15, 2020, the US government implemented the strictest ban on Huawei, 
requiring all global companies using U.S. technology to cease supplying chips to Huawei. The U.S. government extended an olive branch to TSMC by promising several billion dollars in subsidies and offering a substantial number of orders from U.S. companies. This offer came with a condition that TSMC should establish an advanced chip manufacturing plant in the U.S. to produce 3 nanometer chips. Seeing this as a favorable opportunity, TSMC agreed to the U.S. government's request and decided to invest $12 billion in Arizona, aiming to commence 3 nanometer chip production in 2024. However, TSMC's venture in the U.S. encountered various troubles and setbacks. Firstly, the U.S. government did not fulfill the promised subsidies, making TSMC bear the massive cost of building the factory. Secondly, U.S. companies did not provide TSMC with stable orders, leading to instances of order cuts. Most significantly, Intel, originally one of TSMC's major U.S. clients, announced in 2022 that it would no longer order 3 nanometer chips from TSMC but would produce them in-house. This decision severely impacted TSMC's 3 nanometer chip production plan, causing delays in the production schedule. Moreover, TSMC faced strong competition from Samsung, which achieved mass production of 3 nanometer chips in June 2022, half a year ahead of TSMC, gaining an early market advantage. Although TSMC also achieved 3 nanometer chip production in December 2022, it lagged behind Samsung, and the market demand did not meet expectations. In contrast, Samsung invested more resources and manpower in the research and development of 3 nanometer chips, adjusting its production lines from the first half of 2022 to ensure production capacity. They successfully achieved mass production by the end of June 2022 and announced that their 3 nanometer chips would be used in their flagship phone, the Galaxy S23, dealing a heavy blow to TSMC. Thirdly, the market demand for 3 nanometer chips did not meet expectations due to the high manufacturing difficulty and cost, making it unaffordable for many companies. Additionally, due to U.S. sanctions, Huawei, the largest 5G smartphone manufacturer, temporarily withdrew from the market, significantly reducing the demand for 3 nanometer chips. Finally, TSMC's other major customer, Apple, was not in a hurry to use 3 nanometer chips and instead opted for the more reliable 5 nanometer chips to reduce costs and risks. This left TSMC's 3 nanometer chip production line in a state of idle and facing substantial losses. In response to TSMC's predicament, China has provided straightforward commentary, advising to abandon all illusions, adhere to independent research and development, and escape dependence on foreign markets through diversified arrangements. This advice is not only applicable to TSMC, but also to all chip enterprises in China. China recognizes that the chip is a strategic industry that cannot rely on foreign supply. It must focus on independent research and development, establishing its own chip industry chain. Despite facing challenges, such as the need to import high-end lithography machines and advanced film deposition equipment, and not being as competitive as Japan and South Korea in wafer manufacturing, China believes that continuous improvement of technical capabilities will lead to self-sufficiency in the chip industry and even global leadership.